Chat, my new Zane build is absolutely busted. Like, so, so in a nutshell, it's basically the Metal Messiah Zane build, but with actual decent point distribution. And you only need one gun, which is the trick shot. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a big train of people saying that the Maggie was better than the trick shot. Gamer, gamer, gamer. Can I ask, can your Maggie do this? Can your Maggie do this? Can your Maggie do this, gamers? Can your Maggie do this? I don't think it can. It is your typical commitment stack, very high crit Zane build, but the damage it outputs is just absolutely insane. As long as you can hit your shots with it, you're just going to hit mad guap, and it's just really sick. The trick shot is the best in-slot Jacob's pistol for, for a Zane crit build. I'm telling you, like, hands down, there is no competition. This, like, look at this damage. Look, you see this guy right here? There is no competition. There is no competition. This is the best in slot Jacob's pistol. And it is hand like this is a one gun Zane build. I cause and you know what? I'll thank Garwood for this build as well. Because it was Garwood who saw my Metal Messiah Zane build. And he was like, man, you've got real wasted points in there. And I was like, okay, well, we'll fix it then. And that's when I was like, you know what? Let's change up the um let let's change up our point distribution. And now we've ended up with what I've I've donned El Guapo Zane because it gets hella guap. Am I doing the hunt 2021? I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the hunt in BL3. I, oh, I... But again, you can run other things as well. Like this is basically all of Triple G's builds, just a fucking light show and a lot of ego. But you don't need something like this if you want. You can Plague Bearer too if you really want. With ASC Rad, Plague Bearer is actually pretty pog. And also, don't forget to get our man Flint for extra damage as well. Like, I'm so excited for DLC 6. I can't even begin to explain. Like, I've stopped save editing gear. Genuinely, I, I've, stopped, I've stopped save editing gear now because I'm so interested in what's coming with Borderlands 3. And I really think that stuff like the vault cards are going to be the future of this game. I can't wait to see where it goes. Big props to Gearbox. Like, I'm just, I'm really happy with where this game's going. I was speaking to K6 about it earlier. It, it's just so fucking awesome. And, it, you know, you give me something to invest into this game, I don't want to cheat in your game anymore. And now I'm actually having fun doing what I was doing two months ago. You know? Like, it's, it's actually so crazy. And also, I'm going to see if we can hit the eraser shot on the better half, chat. If we hit the better half eraser shot, I'm going to be very happy. Actually, might get a double eraser shot if I don't die. Okay. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Okay. I saw that coming. Is this boss the biggest pain in the ass? I don't know, man. I think this is one of the few boss fights where I can justify its length. Because it's actually unique and they do new things with it. So, I don't mind this boss. The boss really sucks if you can't kill it, though. Because then it takes really, really long. But if you can kill the boss quick enough, I think the mechanics are fine for what it is. How cool would it be... If Gearbox made an Atlas takedown where the story of it was that the Atlas Corporation is starting to manufacture mechanized death machines at the old Fort Knox armory. And in this takedown, you go to the General Knox armory and take down an army of Atlas death soldiers. And then it all ends with you killing like an upgraded Super Saiyan version of Nox with an AI inside of him. And when you kill him, it's revealed that it's actually Athena inside. And she helps you fucking raid the armory before you leave and blow, blow it up. Like how cool would that be chat? You're telling me that would not sell? Uh, bro, at this point, I'm just, I'm gonna... We're Embracer group, hit me up. <laughs> mm. Oh my... Oh. Oh my. ASC rad? That's kind of poggers. Did we get a skull masher too? I think we did. No, it's a monocle. Ass works really well because you get a suck on command. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I fucking love getting sucked on command. Oh, it's that thing? Oh, and then the Nova. It's basically a black hole, but better. Okay. I don't really need it though. I think I'd rather have another element. Like, it, it is nice, don't get me wrong. I just th think I'd rather have that extra ASC element. Especially radiation is very important on this build. Honestly, like, I don't think I need the Void Rift Shield. I kind of prefer the Frozen Heart. Like, here's the reason why I think the Frozen Heart's a better shield for this build. When that Nova set, like, when your shield breaks, at least on this build, 
it's always usually going to end up in you dying. So what I like is with the frozen heart, when it does break, I get that burst of health where I would have normally died, if that makes sense. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'll go down here and let them break the shield. Did they want to? And like, there you go. It froze them and now I have time to react. You know what I'm saying? But with the void rift, I can't do that. Because the Void Rift, while it does have a big range, the problem with it is that when the shield breaks, it pulls the close by enemies in, but it's not subduing any of the other ones who are then going to keep hitting me. With the Frozen Heart, I'm always in the range of enemies to where they're all going to get frozen. My guy, how are they so like... I'm getting swarmed. I never get swarmed here. By you guys as well. There's so many of them. Oh, are you fucking... Okay, well, we're dead now. We fine? We fine? What the fuck? Can I not recursion? Can I not recur? <laughs> you fucking serious? <laughs> Imagine Zane being that bad that I can't recursion a diadem in fight for your life. Are you fucking? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh no, bro! Imagine! Imagine! That already existed, recursion before the no- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There was already a gun that deleted saves. It's called the Epic to Steam Transition. <laughs> oh, guys, you ready to get rock blocked? Look at this. It doesn't phase me. I'm gonna stone face it. Fuck you. What? I deserve that. <laughs> get your god burner emotes in the chat, because we're here again for the first time in- it feels like 15 months now. We're back to farm for the God Burner. Will we ever get it? No one. I mean, how many runs deep are we at this? Do, do we even know? Does the run counter still exist for the God Burner? Imagine laughing with Epic instead of laughing at Epic. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine not cyberbullying someone on Twitch. I hate you. I hate you. I hate this boss. I hate this boss with a passion. What do we- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I don't- First person to say it's getting banned. Something here doesn't feel right. <sighs> Chat, if it's cryo- Chat, if this back burner, this is the th if this is, if I get three cryo back, oh my god, it's shock. I just, I, I, ju I literally, disappointment. I, bro, I am just upset. I am so upset. Fuck you, agonizer. All right, we're getting out. I don't know how many runs we got to there. I don't miss this farm, but maybe we'll, we'll do it again one day until we get it. Who knows?